one of my systems is made up of two 27 gallon totes and currently the circulation that's provided is coming from air stones that are lying within a few inches of the surface of these tubs and it's reasonable to assume that the nutrient solution, the heavier parts in particular, will settle towards the bottom and stay there. Now the roots may reach down and get those, but it would be much better to have some kind of active system for bringing that nutrient up to the surface. And here is something that I am trying out for that purpose, which is an airlift pump. Basically an airlift pump works on the principle that a bubble of air or a certain volume of air will push up an equivalent volume of water and so that if you have air fed into the right place on an airlift pump water will come out the top and uh, other water will come in the bottom so basically you're looking at water coming in here solution and coming out the top and the other thing that's going on in here is that this tube is put in here from the air pump and it looks like about two inches of tubing is going to be a goodly amount to come in there and then I'll probably put a very loose four inch zip tie around down here. So here's the detail on the riser tube. Basically I press the riser tube into the fitting which is called a side outlet elbow which means it just has three different ways for attaching tubing to it which is handy for making corners. So what I did here is I made a quarter inch hole straight through and then kind of twisted the drill to the side to make kind of a landing strip here, kind of an angled connector so I can easily put the hose in there. In the past when I've done this I tried to just put a hose through a straight hole and that doesn't work very well so this makes that a lot easier. Okay, so here we are going to see the test of the airlift pump. So that seems to be doing what it is supposed to do, which is to move the fluid as well as aerating the fluid, which is what you need in these deep water systems. Makes for a simpler, safer installation, trouble free hopefully. But the only thing that could go wrong with this is maybe if you get too much vegetable matter in there, which is not very likely. Uh, you know, the pump's going to break down eventually, but that's not a big deal. These pumps are less than 20 bucks. This the effect is from a 20 gallon Tetra Whisper pump. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to put a little bit of green dye in the water, food coloring in the water near one of the inlets and see whether or not the water coming from the outlet turns colors. There you go. So that's pretty effective.